Hi everyone, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window Live. I was just told that I look like a snowflake simply because I have the most beautiful quilt behind me. Look at this, this is our blue star. Our pre-cut kit was so easy to make this quilt. It is just stunning. Agree? Looks like a snowflake. I know we don't want to rush for the cold weather. We're still enjoying fall, pumpkin, leaves turning beautiful colors. So I'm not rushing at all. But I thought I'd put a little bit blue today just to offset last week's show with all the rainbow fabrics and all the fun stuff that we did. I have prepared incredible show for you. And guess what? Just as always, you get to win prizes if you're paying attention to what I'm telling you guys about it. So stay tuned, watch the show. Our show today is going to be about our upcoming quilt alone called Tahoe. Why do we do quilt alone? Simply because it is so much more fun to quilt with each other than quilt by yourself. So we tune in for, uh, when we do Tahoe quilt alone, we're gonna tune in for 24 days every day i'm gonna show you another blog that i'm making i'm gonna be working with my kid from primrose i'm super excited about this kid but we have a blue option primrose option english garden option and there will be more other options coming through uh, as we are working on the quilt so if you're not sure still come still watch collect all the information watch the blog save it as favorites share with friends and maybe later on in a year we're gonna have a christmas kid or another kid so maybe then you want to join us in but or you can go ahead and get your own fabric for the tahoe quilt alone i'm gonna talk more about that as we're looking at the patterns remember if you're getting your own fabrics and pulling them you have to have the pattern flip the pattern to the back and look at on the back of the pattern this is very important information right here also this is listed on our uh, website so if you're waiting to get your pattern because you order today or tomorrow and it's three to five days before the shipping come in to you make sure you go to our website this is important this is the fabrics that you need and you need to choose the right amount of fabrics for each of the numbers so if you can please do that and enjoy 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 so i'm super excited for you guys okay so we will be talking about our tahoe quilt alone now the most questions that we got is about the borders i'm gonna give you some borders idea but what i would love you to do is please be patient and wait just a little bit start up with your blocks and as we working on this quilt this event is gonna blow you away guys because i'm gonna be showing variety of borders all different fun ideas how you can use the blocks if you for example made block one diamond wand and you love diamond wand and you want to make hundreds of them i'm going to be showing you different layouts for different diamonds so i have so many fun surprises for this quilt alone so stay tuned but today i'm gonna to touch a little bit on the borders just to ease your uh, worries there are plenty beautiful options we're gonna talk about our blue and light collections I have our uh, Blue Escape and Coco Blue on the table. We have beautiful pre-cuts for uh, Coco Blue. You need to see it. Now, next, we have a brand new kit. This kit is from our colorway. So this uh, pattern right here, we're going to talk about that one a little bit. I have some fun informations about our Season in Blue quilt alone and we're gonna move on to this side of the table where you guys chose your favorite notions and I wanna showcase those. So customers' favorite notions on this side. Are you excited? Because I am, I can't wait for you to look at all of the things and enjoy. I'm gonna start with something super special though. Guess what? You guys are incredible. You are purchasing our Little Quilts Club and you enjoying those little quilts. Please, please do me extreme favorite. And when you're posting pictures, tag me on those pictures because I cannot wait to see all the little quilts. It makes my day to see 
uh, to make a quilt, but even more excited I get about seeing how you make your little quilt. So tag me on those pictures if you're posting them, them on Facebook, on um, uh, uh, Instagram, or if you don't have any social medias and you want to just show me how you make your quilt, don't be afraid to email us a picture of your little quilt and a startup of your little wall of your little quilts. I promise you guys that I'm gonna keep a secret of the low quilts until like middle to the end of the month but this month I'm gonna break that rule do not be upset with me I have to share with you this month little quilt because it's super special I absolutely love it and I do not want you guys to miss out on signing up if you are not part of low quilts club now is the chance to do it and so many times when a cute little quilt comes out many of you email us and call and ask please i didn't know i wanted the one from last month so just a little preview little preview i'm not showing you the quilt i'm just going to show you the kit and i'm going to show you the pattern so little uh, uh quilts club this month we doing a little schoolhouse look at how cute it is this is the center you have beautiful little stars around and i arranged them in a little color wheel all the way because guess what our laundry basket house is all about color wheel quilts this year and we're going to talk about the book a little bit later but i want to just have you peek into the kit this is the kit that you will receive this month and guess what everything is pre-cut for you so you just go ahead open the cute little bags make your stars and this is all pre-cut pieces for your beautiful schoolhouse for the center I am so excited for you guys. So if you are not yet part of our Little Quilts Club, this is an excellent time to join us in. And guess what? If you're looking for a gift for someone, sign them up. This is so much fun. Every month, you they will receive a beautiful gift of a quilt. So this is Little Quilts Club. I'm putting it away. I know, don't be mad at me that I showed it to you, but I could not help myself this month. It's just incredible. So um, another thing that I wanted to talk to you about it is small projects for the fall. And I have in front of me the Fall Memory Table Runner. We have a beautiful pattern called Fall, fall Memory. This is one of my older patterns. I love making raw edge applique quilts. And next week live show, I'm doing all raw edge applique quilts again, just to refresh with you, just to show you how beautiful they are. We have some kits that are pre-cut from the seasonal silhouettes that you can do the raw edge applique and uh, we have also regular kits where you cut your own pieces stitch and have a beautiful quilt what it means raw edge applique that means that you're going to use fusible webbing you're going to fuse your pieces to the background then you're going to go ahead and stitch one eight away from the edge on the inside of your pieces and you leave all the edges raw so we time the lift and fray just a little bit so you can have a beautiful project and this gorgeous table runner is a perfect to start your journey in raw edge applique i'm gonna put this one to the side i think i think this should be one of our door prizes today so i'm gonna save it to the side right here next to my tahoe quilt now uh, that project is a great gift also if you're going to visit somebody for thanksgiving maybe making the table runner bringing it to thanksgiving table just laying it out and leaving it for your hostess uh, uh, that would be something super special but if you're going for thanksgiving visiting somebody and you're planning on doing cooking you must have one of our aprons and i have my aprons apron right here we have beautiful beautiful aprons look at how cute they are they have a gorgeous star on it if you want it you can adjust the stripes to make them a little shorter or a little longer but this fits perfectly on any cute body especially quilters body where you can show off this gorgeous quilt so if you wanted to this is another great thing to take with you when you visit family you say hey i'm a quilter and wear your beautiful apron oh maybe treat your whole family for matching aprons wouldn't that be fun cooking in those gorgeous uh quilting aprons so 
that's another fun low gift but let's focus and let's talk about Tahoe because I know you guys are super excited about it because you love quilting with me together and this Tahoe quilt alone you have asked for it and wanted to do it with you I am super excited for you guys so we have some color options like I said Tahoe Primrose you have the pattern and you also have the kit the kit is so lovely we have it right here look at how big this kit is look at all these beautiful fabrics I have chose this gorgeous fabric for your background look how special it is and look at all of the gorgeous colors this does have a very traditional flavor uh, to the quilt I absolutely love it I think it's great for fall but also for all year long I'm more traditional so this is the colors that I absolutely love to work with and this kid I picked and this is the one I'm gonna be making my blocks with it I already cut all my blocks and I'm piecing them together so that way we can photograph and get ready all the step by step for you guys <clears throat> another gorgeous option for this uh, project is our Tahoe English Garden Tahoe English Garden so we are working on those kits right now cutting packaging them and this one is stunning the purples the golds and the black oh my gosh girls and guys you will love this one such a beautiful beautiful um, uh, quilt and I chose for the background a very delicate light with no yellow leaves that from a distance look like little polka dots I love that look very um, elegant but traditional with a little bit modern flavor to me to this one so very much I love this uh, as well so English Garden Tahoe maybe the choice you want to make now I want to bring this to your attention we have limited amount of each of the kits once the sell out, sell out we are not able to make more of them so if you want a kit you need to grab that kit we will be making other color options as we go through the quilt alone uh, just because I love doing that there would be a scrappy option there would be the Christmas option there may be a red and light option so as time uh, pass by I love to tickle your elbow but if right now you have your heart set on primrose and you uh, want it get it because it will sell out and we will not be able to make them Primrose just came back in stock, but we already bought all the fabrics that we were able to. So we're working on kits and just uh, getting them ready for you guys. Now our Tahoe. Uh, We are back in. Oh my gosh! For a moment, I thought I lost you guys. So. Uh, this is our Tahoe the original blue and light one the original quilt I made with bluebird collection that collection sold sold out but I was able to get some of the fabrics and I thought oh this would be amazing if I can combine uh, our um, bluebird cocoa blue and perfect union uh, and uh, um, blue escape blue escape so those three collections I pulled fabrics from it and I refreshed the kit it is so beautiful it has the lighter tone a little bit darker blue on one of the area I love that contrast I think you guys are going to love 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 this kit so that's the blue option now I wanted to bring to your attention that if you don't recognize the fabric you do not have to worry about anything we mark all our fabrics with stickers so that way you know that we are hoping that you're gonna use the print 13 in the place where in the pattern calls for print 13 so every single fabric has a sticker on it and it's marked with where I think that fabric should go so um, grab your favorite kit if it's a blue if it's a primrose I does not matter or if you're choosing your own fabrics make sure you grab a pattern use that chart on the back for example print one you're gonna need a one yard and two thirds and one of the questions that we had was can you use a half yard bundle for this quilt um, if you don't mind have some area more scrappy because for example if you need it for print one 
uh, one and two thirds, you would need at least a three half yard cuts. So if you getting, uh, for example, or if you already maybe have favorite laundry basket bundle, you probably uh, um, can do it, but you would have to go ahead and select three pieces that are similar that you can use in the same area so that way your picture really looks nice and it had that it have that like a kaleidoscope look to it so you can use half yard bundles if you wanted to but some of the uh, prints you're gonna have to use more than one fabric for it so if you're okay with that go ahead and do that i mean nobody is stopping you if you select for number one that you're using yellow and you're using all your scraps go for it i love doing scrappy quilts and i think that th this design could work just as well you have to be very cautious and very careful about that the tone of the fabric is the same so that way it really does work and it gives you what I hope for you, a nice design onto it. So look at the fabrics, print one, one and two thirds, print two, one and a quarter, print a three, three quarters of a yard, print four, two thirds of a yard, print five, one and a quarter, and from then on print six, one third, half a yard, half a yard, half a yard, one yard, quarter yard, half a yard, one third, half a yard. So like I said, a bundle, half yard bundle could work, but for some areas, you're going to have to use more than one uh, fabric for some of the prints. So just remember that and uh, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. I'm super excited. I can't wait to see what you guys do with it. And speaking of doing things with it, you're gonna wanna add borders, I hear that. This was the most asked customer question, customer service question this week. If there is any beautiful, beautiful borders that you could use for this particular quilt. So I wanted to show you some border options. I have this gorgeous option from our English garden. This is the big print. It comes in this color as well as the black background, like a charcoal black background. You can choose either one of those. I chose the lighter one because I want to give uh, like the center of attention to the main part of the quilt. And I didn't want the black border compete with the black uh, area let me show you that pattern i did not want to compete with this area right here but if you want a darker border you can do that i would separate uh this area with the inner border then go ahead go for a nice border so that print would work to me this would be lovely for a border now another great option that i think you would enjoy is this fabric right here it's also from english garden and this one also comes in multiple colors so you can choose and pick which one you like the best what i love about this one that has all this gorgeous berries and it gives me a sprinkle of the colors that i'm using inside of the quilt in the middle of the quilt using uh, with english garden kit and i thought this one would work very very nice as well so this is another good option i have brought the two pre-printed panel option simply because i thought if you want it you can cut a strip and have some stars stars around your um beautiful beautiful uh star or if you wanted to cut this way and have a beautiful hexagons going around it but i brought those even more i don't know if i would use myself this for the border but i brought those because they are perfect for backings can you imagine have your tahoe quilt and this gorgeous star and then you flip it to the back and you have all this english uh this uh beautiful um um grandmother's garden little bit of hexagons on the back i think they would be so nice all those six point stars on the back of the quilt 
I think delightful. So I brought those two pieces and do not worry, we're restocking constantly our website as the fabric trinkles into our office. We're paying attention and we know that you're waiting. So if something is sold out, just sign for that you would like to receive it. You just uh, put your email in and as soon as we restock, the system sends you an email that the fabric is back in stock so you can get that fabric. Now for our gorgeous, uh, a beautiful uh, primrose right here for this one. What I love to do is I love to do the paisleys for the border. I thought that was amazing. So I would have loved to love to use the paisley for the border with the primrose uh, kit. I did not use the big flowers because it's quite a bit of it is inside the quilt. So I have the big floral. So I thought that would really nicely complement. Not that I have big flowers in the middle of the quilt, big flowers in the border. I This time I want to switch things around and use that beautiful paisley right here. So that this one. Now another great options uh, option for a border. And this one would be for our blue and light kit. I think guys grab as long as we have because we will sell out of this beautiful border fabric. This would be stunning. I have to tell you this fabric has become one of my personal favorites for backings but also for border. Any quilt I see I'm like oh my gosh I can use this gorgeous flower. Oh it just it's like a reef putting around your beautiful design so this one is another great option and we have it in two color in the darker one and in the lighter option so i think for the three tahoe quilts that we have right now happening um i think you have wonderful suggestions right now but like i said wait because you know what happened as i make my blogs and creative juices are happening and i'm so excited from my quilt i sure wanted to share with you any ideas that come up to my head from my heart to your quilting uh, room so be patient we're gonna start posting we're gonna be uh, i want to inspire you inspire you to make your blocks, inspire you to m do something that you normally would not want to do it. I want to be there for you and inspire you how you can finish and add a beautiful uh, extra um, touch of design to make this project very, very special for you. So, and do not be afraid of making your diamonds. Um, you, we have a beautiful ruler called Tahoe ruler and yes anybody that have Alaska ruler they can use Alaska ruler when I'm filming my videos I'm gonna show you how to use the rule this ruler as well as how you can cut it with your Alaska ruler if you already have it so please please if you would like one we have a template we call it a ruler because there are lines right here on it um, I left the paper on this one because when it should we don't want it to get scratched or broken but if you get your templates you can go ahead peel that paper away and that way you can see exactly where your quarter inch seam allowance are how you're doing on your diamonds this ruler has lines right through it so that way you can match it up and see that everything is working out really nice and this is the exact size of the diamonds that we're going to be doing so you can place this ruler on your diamonds trim it if needed and then keep going because the most important is going to be keeping nice quarter inch seam allowance have beautiful units that you're going to make and then be able to put them together there will not be any y seam all is going to be strip sewing strip sewing to section sections together set them with triangles but that's by thanksgiving on a 24 day when I show you the last block I'm gonna show you how to put the quilt together and um, that's uh, for that one so I think we covered Tahoe if you have any other questions about our quilt alone first of all another very common question was where do I sign and do I have to pay for it this is a free event you can all that you need is a pattern so just purchase your pattern use your own fabrics 
the videos everything that i'm doing is free to anyone you can come join us bring your friend have fun and enjoy my company because i love being with you guys so please do that for me and then uh, uh, if you want to get notification when we posting the best way to know is through our newsletter so go to our website sign for newsletter because every time i post a new blog or send a video you will be getting an email so all that you have to do is click on that email and then you join us on youtube channel and what i'm doing this time is i'm taping a one big video right at the beginning how to make the strip sets and then our quilt alone this time will be all posts on uh, our blog so you have to go to our blog and see the posts right there and watch this video for extra tips when you're making your strip sets but we pretty much gonna repeat over and over every day sew your strips cut them on 45 degree angle now put them together into the diamond it is just the color options that are gonna be changing every day and once we have all our diamonds put put together then we're gonna go ahead and put them into the quilt and each day we're gonna make eight diamonds because we need eight diamonds for eight side of our eight point star so that's all for that one now this uh, kid is coming really close to me and i am so excited about this kid because it has 70 some pieces of fat eight uh, fabrics and it is a fantastic combinations from english garden sea breeze and our delightful collection century salads they mix and match so beautifully i had my eye on this gorgeous color wave quilt and i was going back back and forth do i'm gonna do mine just with uh century salads or do i'm gonna mix and match our brand new collection with it and it goes so nice guys i cannot wait for you to see my quilt it is going to be amazing and i hope if you wanted to make this quilt as well we have the kits available this is brand new kit and this is the green is the binding that i chose for this kit so that is our color wave a quilt another wonderful project that we have right now it's our dallas uh quilt we have dallas in multiple color option and right now we're cutting our century solid color option what it's so lovely i also brought with me today for the show this one this is the scrappy dallas with really nice gorgeous salmon and oranges i thought for the fall time this one would be amazing isn't it nice i hope you guys like this one so this one is also available on our website it's a beautiful beautiful quilt we have the kids those kids are not pre-cut because you doing strip uh cutting and then sewing strip sets and then putting the quilt together no y seams there is uh three layers of stars but there's no y seams only half square triangles and quarter square triangles to achieve that beautiful design so i'm super happy for you i know you are right now dancing in your sewing room because you are so excited about our quilt alone but we still have two weeks so you like but what am i gonna do now and you want it to be quilting immediately so i brought some fun things i wanted to show you one more time our beautiful pre-cuts from our coco blue we have gorgeous fat eights we have a beautiful beautiful coco blue uh, right here uh, uh, in a charm pack and you know charm packs are perfect for this quilt that i have it hanging right behind me so this one right here oh guys you grab a few of the charm packs pattern is available on our website and you can enjoy enjoy now um another bundle that we have available is a fat quarter bundle and this one is just delightful i love this one so that's that now layer cakes are just super cool because you get a 10 inch by 10 inch of um 42 uh, pieces 
and this one is just wonderful you have some lights you have some medium blues and then dark blues so those are really fun and i know you were looking for some simple fun patterns and i thought oh my goodness why not as you're waiting have a little square dance what about that and this quilt is right here this one is made with our uh, blue escape but i can guarantee you if you have purchased some of the blue escape and you would like to add cocoa blue to it notice how nice my fabrics mix and match with each other so we can build on a beautiful stash and you are not like oh i can use this with anything else you can add you can uh, get a border now if you did not get a border before so this is why i stay in a very nice color sham and i have my favorite color swatches because i think it's very important that you can purchase little bit by little bit the fabric and truly have some fun square dance in your sewing room as you're making those beautiful simple uh, quilts like the one that i have right here square dance or this one uh, right here so this one is the antique one that i based my pattern on it but you can make one like that uh, really easy because you have already all those gorgeous pre-cut pieces the five inch squares would work great for it like i said all right now i'm gonna pull some blue and fun stuff in front of me i have my little handful of scraps book uh, on the top of the pile simply because i want to use it for one of our door prizes today as i'm going to be asking you question but also to remind you that if you are excited about our little quilts club and you are waiting for the next quilt and you're super super happy about what is happening this book gives you 32 patterns and awesome ideas and i'm choosing some of the quilts from this beautiful book and some of them are original designs only that comes out with our low quilts club but that way you can mix and match and as you're waiting for your next uh kit you maybe find something fun and simple that you wanted to make and this is going to be one of our door prizes i also have the season in blue book in front of me because i wanted to remind you guys that this weekend uh you getting one of the last clues for our quilt alone season in blue we have quilted together this whole year we started in january with beautiful blocks from quilts from season in blue if you have not done this with us uh, with us it's not too late all the blogs are still online all the videos you just need a book for the recipes start making the blogs because guess what when i show you the simple assembler quilt that we have made it you all going to want it to do this uh, just like i've done it with you patches of blue i have uh, this quilt right here this was from our patches of blue quilt alone a few years ago we are now uh, this month I'm adding applique to one of the sections of the quilt and next month we're putting all blocks together and you're going to have a gorgeous gorgeous quilt so season in blue patches of blue excellent for anybody that want to try blocks make a sampler and quilt alone even if you have not joined us in january you can still make those blocks and enjoy they're gonna stay online all the blogs and everything that we have provided you with it but just a reminder that our next step for season in blue this weekend we will be sending out that blog and you guys are going to love the little touch of applique that i have added to the quilt and then like i said next month we're finishing the whole quilt and you are ready set go to just quilt it and have fun with it for the rest of the cold winter days you're going to be in a season in blue now so those are just a reminder another incredible book that we have right now is our rainbow scraps book this book just came out and i want to remind you guys that in two weeks i'm going to it's a little bit over two weeks i'm going to houston i'm gonna see you at the international quilt uh, festival and i can't wait 
to meet you. If you want to come to my booth, I'm going to have the books there. You can bring your copy. You can come get a picture with me and I will send you, sign your copy of the book. But just a reminder, this book has 20 colorful patterns and it is just wonderful. There's so many beautiful, beautiful projects. If you need an inspiration for the holidays and you're looking for a fun quilt, grab this book and make your uh, holiday quilt, holiday forest. I did it with all different rainbow scraps just to show you how fun it looks. But if you have just green scraps or gray scraps, you want a cold frozen forest, go for the grays and just put one red tree just to symbolize the holidays. Oh guys, so many fun ideas. You do not have to do the same colors that I did. This is just a suggestion. But also, if you don't have the same fabrics, I place the colors in all the pages because I want you to know that you can take any scraps. And if you see blue, just take a blue scrap, put it there, and you get quilts that are just beautiful, more beautiful than my quilts, I have a feeling. So enjoy, enjoy. Rainbow scraps available right now on our website. And just as a companion, we have nine gorgeous designs to color, and this is Rainbow Scraps Coloring Book. We have had a lot of requests from you guys to create a coloring pages. So we did that so that way you go ahead and you can color on them or mark it or draw it because you don't want to be writing on your book. So we have coloring pages and they're also fun for anybody that it's non quilter but just love color and enjoy patterns. So col uh, this coloring pages, rainbow scraps are also available on our website. In front of me, I also have the uh, beautiful wonderful threads those are weight 50 few weeks ago someone has asked me about machine quilting and last week I showed you a thread that I love to use from superior threads but this one is also wonderful wonderful thread I chose the colors because they are just wonderful I have this really pretty blue gorgeous yucky green I call it delicate gray and a beautiful cream. So if you're looking for fun threads, either you're quilting on your small machine or long arm, I'm pointing to my long arm, it's waiting for me, I need to do some machine quilting, those threads could work for you very, very well. So they're on our website, like I said. And look at this, a full circle. We came back, back to this quilt that we started the show with it and, um, Oh, I don't want to forget it. I want to remind you before I show you the kit. Uh, did I tell you that the color wave quilt, you need 70 fat eights, 70 fat eights, just a reminder. And I did show you that kit. I don't want to forget that because I know all of you are going to be jumping into your stash and wanting to pull up some beautiful fabrics and make that color wave quilt. And I'm gonna pull towards me two of our best-selling bundles, and this is the Scrappy Darks, and then we have Scrappy Lights. Those are also Fat Aids. Each of the bundle has 60 and 60 pieces. You can select pieces from those bundles if you have purchased those bundles to enjoy in a beautiful colorway quilt. Now, this bundles I have promoted when we were working on our star upon star pattern and a quilt and you guys you are rock this so many gorgeous gorgeous quilt has come out from this quilt alone and this is why I brought this pattern today just remind you look at it what you have done and now we're gearing up to do another incredible quilt and now finish it up if you want something fun and simple, don't want to cut fabrics, we got you. Our blue star kit right now is one of the hot items at Laundry Basket Quilts. Grab it if you can. I will bring some to Houston. We also have the scrappy option. We're restocking that one right now. So if you want it, a scrappy option, I got you. I will have some of the quilts with me in Houston so you can see it. 
and if you would like to we have a beautiful beautiful ruler I call it Bermuda triangle because I'm getting lost in 60 degree triangles just wait to see all the beautiful things that we have coming out and a lot of the projects are for our 12 days for Christmas so maybe you want to grab your ruler and be ready to rock some Christmas with us and the 12 days of Christmas so now I promise you a little contest I have asked you I have told you all about the things that are sitting right next to me but I wanted to ask you some questions so um, question number one is how many color options we have for our Tahoe quilt at this moment how many color options we have for our Tahoe quilt and the person that answer correctly is gonna get a cute apron from me person that answers correctly is gonna get beautiful apron and um, those aprons are available on our website so if you want one as a gift they're beautiful beautifully packed in boxes so you just have to grab one and uh, put a bow on it and you are ready set go to celebrate uh, or visit someone and make their day with a beautiful quilting design. Do we have an answer already? We do. And oh my! What a great Aaron. gift, uh, just in time for the holidays. Is Everybody's it a cooking, nice baking? Yes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I'll just I'll model in it. You know, yes. be the one that is all dressed and just you know. Uh, Michael said he's gonna wear an apron just so he can eat all the cookies. <laughs> yes. Sounds like a deal. Um, we do have a winner for that question, and the amount of uh, color options for Tahoe is three and our winner is Jim Grigsby. Jim, congratulations. I'm going to be sending to you a beautiful, beautiful apron. You just won and I'm so excited that you knew that we have three color options for our Tahoe quilt alone. But please guys, remember there will be more color options, but if you want one, now is the time to grab one another question that i have for you can anyone tell me how many fat aids you need for our beautiful color wave quilt how many fat aids you need for our color wave quilt and as you guys answering i'm gonna show you this beautiful tahoe again look at this isn't that stunning Oh, I'm so, so excited for you guys to do this quilt. I'm excited for myself too, because I've been waiting and waiting to make one with this beautiful Primrose collection. So, 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 so excited. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. We do have a winner. Yes. Um, and the answer is 70 fat eights. Super. Oh my gosh. That's great. So somebody just won fall memory. Yes. And that winner is Susan Gideon. Susan, congratulations. We will be sending to you a beautiful uh, kid for our fall memory table runner that it's in this pattern. And I'm going to make sure I include pattern for you. Thank you for answering and playing along with us. I'm so, so excited for you guys. Now I have one more question for you for our third beautiful prize. But before I go to that question, guess what? We did not check all those beautiful notions that I have on my table. Let's quickly look at them. This is customer's favorite notions. And what I love about them, I color coordinate them and set them up really nice. I chose some teals and gold and some darker teal because I thought maybe if you getting two or three things for somebody for holidays, you know, adding them to their little stocking, you want a nice little matches. One of my favorites is this little magnetic button that you can place your needle right on it as you're doing some stitching so you don't lose your needle on your couch or some place as you're traveling so this little cute little button nice small gift but so thoughtful another beautiful gift is I can't live without it is my little um, uh, pin cushion and this is a little spool I love the yellow one and that's the one I chose for you it's ceramic so it's very very nice but you have to be careful be delicate with it because it's ceramic it has magnet in it so all my pins are staying nice and 
steady in that one now we have those cute little pin cushions with the felt uh, little felted wool ball on the top and those are also very delightful they have wood bases little ball right on the top those are super super special now um, this one of course from clover is magnetic and what it's nice about that when you're picking your pins you can do it right in the middle and also when you're traveling you can cover it it has a little plastic cover to it that was one of our customers favorites oh my dear friend Tracy loves this one this is a little uh, cutty that you put all your needles already thread uh, thread uh, with thread on it so you can put them in and use one at a time so that's a really nice fun thing now mag uh, magic pins uh, so many of you love love this one we can hardly keep them in stock this one sells out quite fast and I love it that they have low teal uh, heads on it so look at how pretty they will look if you choose the uh, yellow uh, little pin cushion that will look beautiful on your sewing table but also your favorite uh, pins were those two with the little flowers in pinks or in blue so those are just few of your favorite notions for this week and now for last questions for this week is um oh Erin, do you have any suggestion for fun question? I love this book. 32 um, beautiful patterns. You know what? I do have a question. I love that. I knew it that you would. I knew it. Erin has been waiting to ask you guys a question. Um, I would love to know who is paying attention and how many days is our quilt along going to be? How I many bet days? everybody did. Yes. How many days we're going to do our quilt along? That's a great question, Erin. You always think of wonderful, wonderful things. I cannot wait for you guys to meet Erin. We are hoping that she will be able also to come with me to Houston. Right now, we're 50-50, okay? So finger crossed. And uh, if you want her to come, just send us a message, all right? But 50-50 chance that Erin will be able to come. I'm convincing her that she should because she, this would be her first uh, quilt show she has not gone to a nice big uh, first quilt, quilt show in Houston first international uh, show so she's gone with me one time to uh, road to California and that was so much fun so 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 much fun I think she enjoyed it and all of you guys that saw her at that show enjoyed to seeing her so what is the answer the answer is 24 yes and so 24 day long and our winner is paulette miller paulette congratulations you just won a beautiful little handful of scraps book and this book has 32 beautiful projects that you can be making uh, and enjoying in your house to decorate display or share with your friends so we will be sending this beautiful book to you and of course I'm gonna sign your copy so that way you have something special from me to you happy quilting guys now do we have any questions for me today yes, yes? We do have a few questions about I love Tahoe. that oh a few questions about Tahoe and the first one was uh, from Dawn, and she's wondering, would you recommend starching the fabrics before Tahoe? Um, I actually uh, would do that. So when you get your fabrics, you can either starch them or you can uh, spray them really nice with best press and prop them. So the fabric is a beautiful, beautiful quality. Prop your fabric, and then from then on, we're gonna cut strips and work on the blocks. But that's a very good suggestion anything that helps you get good points do that please you know your techniques i like to best press my fabric i already did that i cut all my pieces i did not starch my fabric this time because i want to make my quilt and i want to uh, wash it right after i finish quilting it to shrink a little bit to get that like a vintage look to it so this is going to be my my quilt my quilt did i talk tell you I'm making a quilt for myself so this is one of the quilts that I'm planning to use on our bed we have not um, 
had a, a fun quilt lately so i think this one would be a perfect for us and you know our daughter uh, when she got married we made her the blue i made her the blue um uh tahoe so she i have to give it back to her shortly <clears throat> i promise that after our quilt alone she gets her quilt finally but uh, she will enjoy that quilt we give it to her for her wedding any other questions? Yes. Um, in regards to borders for Tahoe, yes. they were just wondering, do you normally recommend a certain size of border? So when I uh, do a quilt, I look at it, you know, the uh, size of the pattern. So uh, let me pull this back for you guys. So for example, this one is, uh, the Tahoe quilt is 84 by 84. So I would have been going with at least five inch border on this one. So the quilt will come up to 94 by 94. Um, if you want the quilt to be bigger, of course, make inner border, outer border, and as big as you want it to cover your bed and spill down to the floor as far as you want it. But my rule of thumb for this size quilt, I would at least go with a five inch finish border. So five and a half cup. So, and I will be showing you suggestions and pictures for the borders. I know your next question is gonna be how much of the border I needed. So if we're gonna do uh, um, five and a half inches, so we need eight times five is 40 and a half inch. So it's a 44 inches. I would do at least yard and a half, okay? Yard and a half on the border. If you fussy cutting border and you want, you're gonna have to piece that one. If you wanna do one long strip, you're gonna need a two and a half yards um, on the length of the fabric so that way you you are able to uh, cut it all around am i right 72 is two yards so that's 12 inches perfect 12 plus 10 yep uh uh two and a half yards <laughs> on the spot i am going to post all this information so if you if i made a mistake and have to redo something don't be mad at me i'm only human and speaking of mistakes you know guys just like I said, I'm only human. When I first released the pattern, the original one, the blue and white, the Tahoe, uh, um, two years ago, uh, just about a month after I released the pattern, I noticed that I had a mistake in it. And we redid the patterns. And uh, as far as we know, we reach out to anybody that approaches the pattern to make sure they got the correct copy. There was just one little mistake and it's a small handful of you guys that I maybe missed. Make sure you check your pattern. You can reach out to us. We can tell you exactly what was fixed. Those informations were also posted on our website. So uh, if not, we will post them on our website so that way you know you have the correct copy, that there is nothing wrong. And once again, I am so sorry if there ever was anything wrong with any of uh, my patterns and my designs. Please know that every day I get up and try to do my best, but this old body and old brain sometimes fails me and um, I make mistakes. So super excited for you guys. We now have in place five editors for our patterns. So I can tell you that not much slip by those girls and they check me over and over and over again so i think you will be very proud of how far away we have come with our designs and our patterns and i look forward to quilt with you and if you notice something that it's not right please contact me don't tell your friends about me uh, about it tell me that i did something wrong because this is the only way how i know how to fix it if you don't tell me i don't know so i think i'm doing a great job so anytime email us or text uh, 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 or call us at our customer service i want to say text me but no please don't text me uh, email us or uh, call us at our customer service with any concern anything and I will be posting, when we post our first housekeeping blog, I'm gonna make sure I make a note there to show you exactly so you can double check. Yep, 
I have the correct copy, I'm perfect, I can move forward. And it wasn't anything with the blocks, it was in the back of the pattern when I was putting blocks together. I had a, a, a mirror image on one of the pieces. So just in a drawing, all your diamonds were correct, my drawing was uh, wrong. So. Um, uh, let me know if you need help and I'm here for you guys. So do we have any other questions, Erin? One last question. One last question. We had a couple of people ask yes. that the Little Quilt Club that you showed, yes. if they sign up today or this month, is that the one they'll be getting? Yes. So if you want this one, and I knew it, you guys going to want to see it because we, we always have that. We had it with our um, little log cabin last month. You guys went google gaga over all those beautiful beautiful quilts so this month i thought was important and i give you a little sneak preview signed up you right away get this uh, kit and then you are automatically will be getting the next month uh and next month and if you decide to stop just email us and we can make sure that you don't receive them so it's not something you signed up forever and ever okay awesome Okay, so that was for today. I am so glad that we were able to meet on Wednesday. I'm sorry we had to move our show from Friday, but guess what? We're going to be uh, posting our block of the month on Friday video. It's our last month, and I'm going to just take a minute to thank you, all of you guys that are doing our block of the month. You guys have been amazing, and this month is our last month for block of the month, Primrose block of the month, and I am so so excited because I can't wait to show you next year block of the month please please if you're interested send us an email and as soon as we release the signed up li list you can be a part of our block of the month for next year thank you and happy quilting